I'm Molly Bloom. Do you know about me? This is a true story. You ran games in L.A. for roughly eight years? Yeah. And then you ran games in New York for roughly two. I haven't run a game in over two years, not to spoil the ending. But that's when the government raided my game and took all of my money, assuming all of it was made illegally, which it wasn't. In this room, you couldn't buy your win. I'm all in. You couldn't buy me, and you couldn't buy a seat at the table. Ooh, we start. Athletes, billionaires, that's just the tip of the iceberg. You're not taking percentage of the pot? No. Keep it that way, because you don't want to break the law when you're breaking the law. Am I breaking the law? Not really. We're able to find out for sure, aren't we? Laws are written down. <laughs> You had meetings in L.A. about your book and life rights. I did. You spent eight years running the world's most exclusive, glamorous, and decadent man cave. Any offers? Guarantee the publishers certain elements, then I can get you a million and a half. What kind of elements? I passed. I'm just curious as to why you passed on what would appear to be the only way out you have. You have to use real names. Creative differences. The law that I'm accused of breaking defines gambling as betting on games of chance. Yes. Poker isn't a game of chance. Poker's a game of skill. Why does a young woman who, at 22, has a gold-plated resume, why does she run poker games? Your risk is nuts. You're gonna get blown up. You got 2.8 million on the street right now. That money should be in your hands. Just how deep into the Russian mob were you? There's a new offer on the table. Complete immunity. We hand over the hard drive. You've seen what's on those hard drives. Families, lives, careers will be ruined. Why are you in this alone? Where are the people you're protecting by not telling the whole story? It's not their names. I'm protecting Charlie. It's mine. Tell me why! Because it's all I have left! Because it's my name!